Now, my next <laughs> guest, you've already seen her 10 times. I'm so sorry, Mel, you're very much part of the show today. Lovely. She, of course, co-presented this year's Eurovision, and now Mel Gedroyd, she's headed back to the West End for a brand new play, The Crown Jewels. And she joins us this morning. This is brilliant. And Mel, I know you're very excited to be back in the West End, aren't it's you? It's a real... It feels like fun again. It's a real treat. It's a real treat to be treading the boards with some magnificent uh, friends we're now close showbiz theatrical friends. Absolutely. We've got Al Murray, who's our leading man, playing King Charles II, who is absolutely brilliant. Neil Morrissey, you mm -hmm. just saw there. Joe Thomas from The Inbetweeners. And you've got a brief glimpse of Carrie Hope Fletcher, mm -hmm. Queen of the West End, and the wonderful Aidan McArdle. There he is in the beard playing Colonel Blood. Yeah, an incredible cast then, as you it's say. It's amazing. You're, you're, it's your friends, it, and it feels like that sort of production to yes. me. Yes. But the story, which I didn't realise, is, is based on a true one. Absolutely true, yeah. So Charles II, he's King of England, end of the 17th century. He's come back after being exiled in France. And um, there was a heist to steal the crown jewels by this extraordinary guy, Colonel Blood, Irish guy, kind of renegades. Uh, figure and I won't tell you exactly what happens, but it well, I know I can't tell you it's gonna spoil, <laughs> spoil the story um, But there is a, an attempt to steal the crown jewels. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. and yeah, and a, f a fairly good attempt Let's put yes. it that way at least. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they go further than I think most of us would have thought they would <laughs> yes. And in fact, you're playing two characters. Yeah, most of us double up um, Which is really good fun. So I play a sort of quite haranguing fishwife character Al's wife um, and he's the deputy master keeper of the crown jewels mm -hmm. so we live in the Tower of London and I play his wife so we're effectively guarding the crown jewels um, and then in part two I get to don an amazing costume you can see it there uh, and I play this ridiculous high status French noblewoman <laughs> who takes on Charles II and they have a bit of a sparring Oh, brilliant! It's is so that? fun. That's it's so, so good. fun. And it's it, it's at the um, London Garrick Theatre until the sixteenth of September. But yes. there will be a tour. Yeah, we're going to Manchester, Canterbury, Cardiff, and Milton Keynes a week in each place. So it'll be lovely to kind of take it out on the road. Absolutely, the gang like a, on the road. Yeah, it'll be like a feel like students again, won't it? Do you know what? We're already looking at little houses to rent all together. <laughs> We're thinking, let's do, what do they call those houses? Are they called trap houses or is that something naughty? Oh, I don't know I what don't know. I don't know what they are. But anyway, oh. someone said it would be like that. I, okay. I don't know what it is though, Christine. Well, yeah, I'm not so sure, but it sounds interesting. <laughs> it's all down to who does the cooking. Now that's the important thing. Well, my money's on Neil Morrissey because uh -huh. he makes a very good chutney. <laughs> See? Yes, he makes little a, known facts. He makes a good chutney, so I'm thinking, let's get Neil on the catering. <laughs> I'll be his sous chef, and we'll see how we get on. Very good. <laughs> uh, we mentioned Eurovision, of course. Yes. Well, you're a huge fan of the show, oh. anyway, and I know it was a, it's a you privilege. You are as well, Christine. I, I mean, yes. I remember a little girl, yes. gone as what age I was, watching Eurovision, and you know yeah. Ireland won it 110 times, so it was always a big thing. Late 90s was... Late 90s was very beckoned. strong, yeah. yes, very, very much so. But there was a particular moment this year that of course went viral, and, and you were it. <laughs> yes, that was uh, <laughs> unexpected. Um... <laughs> It slightly looks like a toilet brush there, it's a, but it's not. <laughs> like an oversized loo brush. I have to thank a lovely lady in Liverpool called Carla, who uh, runs a tanning salon. And I thought, if I'm going to do this and be in this costume, I'd better get some kind of, you know, some glow on. So Carla was absolutely amazing and her brilliant team of women. Uh, yes. Had the full Liverpool tan. It was amazing. Very good. Amazing. Very good. Well, in the best place for it, because Liverpool, what a place to do the final I... as well. It was, and the weather was great. Was everything, incredible. just everything came together. Yeah, it, Liverpool opened its arms, yeah. literally, to this kind of crazy alternate universe that is Eurovision. And they did it with aplomb and everyone was so friendly and so brilliant. I'm now obsessed with the city. Yeah. It's I shall go back often. It's brilliant. Yeah. It is brilliant. I have to obviously ask you as well, like we always do, about Mel and Sue. Talking about the 90s again, that oh. was another... I mean, Light Lunch was... Oh. I'm, I don't think I missed one of them. You're too young to I remember am Light Lunch. Sadly Christine. not. I absolutely <laughs> loved it. And, oh. and there is always talk of a reunion because we, yes. we both know you're doing your own things, but when yes. you come together, it's still, <laughs> it's just, it just works. It's well, good. You're just good friends. She is one of the all time top buddies of mine 
and I adore her, so mm -hmm. it is very good fun. The problem is, though, Christine, when we get together to have sort of, you know, powwows, let's call it powwows, to discuss, maybe we could do this, should we do that? It or we just end up laughing <laughs> and uh, talking about, you know, the 90s, basically. So we need Can to Can I come next focused. time? I'd love Please that. Please do. <laughs> Please do. It's, it's pretty dull, but you're very welcome to join. I, I, I'm, I'm noticing your T-shirt, by the way, here. I'll just have to draw attention to this. Showing support. It's a big day, of course, it's, isn't it? Uh, I, I feel slightly nervous. Do you know that thing? Yeah. I feel slightly nervous. Yeah. I think they're absolutely brilliant and they're such great ambassadors for the sport, for women and for this country. They're Very amazing. much so. Come on, yeah. England. Today. Come on. Yeah, I totally I'm agree. I'm sorry that Ireland didn't get through. No, I know, I know. but that's... Next you know, time. Next time. Next time. We, we say that a lot, but yes, it will happen. Yeah. Mel, thank yeah. you, as always. It's yeah. great to see you. So and nice to see just you. Just to repeat, The Crown Jewels is on at London's Garrick Theatre absolutely. until the 16th of September and then... The tour off kicks we off. Go. Off yeah. you go. Yes. Thank Send my love you. to all of the cast. They're great. I will. They're a very good bunch.